Hey guys, just wanted to do a video because it's been a week since I washed my hair and I wash my hair weekly and there's a couple of reasons behind it. One reason behind it is the fact that my hair doesn't actually look this oily up until it hits exactly one week. So I'm kind of good to go until then. The other reason is obviously when you've got conditions like psoriasis and eczema and they affect your scalp, you don't want to dry your skin out. And what happens is the more you kind of wash your hair and things, um, the more you're actually drying your scalp out. I know they obviously give you things to kind of help you with your psoriasis, but they don't exactly give you the oils and the nutrients that your body tries to push through your scalp anyway. So it is much better to kind of let your hair get like this greasy and then wash it. For those people who are out there that get their hair this greasy in like a day or maybe like a couple of days and have to wash their hair quite frequently, I'd suggest you let your hair get really, really greasy for about a week and try not wash it too much. Try and wash it like maybe once or maybe twice a week just because it lets the oils go through to the roots of your hair as well. My roots are looking really dry and damaged just because of how much I've coloured my hair in the past. And this is like the dead bit of my hair. I do need a trim sometime soon. So I'll be sorting that out after Christmas, um, probably in the new year. Your hair needs th those oils and those nutrients. And my hair grows about two inches a month. So yeah, my hair grows like a crap load. Those are like just a couple of tricks. Maybe people want to grow their hair and that's why they're watching this. For those of you that are interested in the psoriasis part of the video, I know in my introductory video I spoke about what psoriasis is and things like that. So I'm just going to jump straight into the things that I have used in the past and the things that I am still using. What's worked for me, what hasn't worked for me. This isn't only going to be about my scalp, it is also going to be about my body. So we're going to jump straight into it. First thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this. This is Capisau Therapeutic Shampoo. It's got salicylic acid in it, it's got coconut oil in it, and it's got distilled coal tar in it. Now on the packaging, it tells you that it's for dry, scaly scalp conditions and to remove previous scalp applications. I normally get this prescribed from my doctor. If I open it up, it's just basically like a nudie bottle with brown writing on it and a brown lid now the bottle's shut but it's still got quite a strong smell to it it smells really weird i can't explain the smell to you but it's not one of those overpowering smells that when you wash your hair your hair's gonna end up smelling like this i promise you it doesn't the smell does take a little bit of getting used to but at the end of the day if it helps you then I mean, who cares about the smell, considering that it's not gonna get your head to smell like that. The colour of it, I'm just gonna get a cotton pad. So it's like um, a sort of brownie colour. It kind of reminds me of honey and it has got the same consistency as honey as well. It's like a, a liquid, but like a thicker liquid. So as you can see, like it's taking ages to run down the cotton pad. A little bit of this does go a long way. It lathers up when I wash my hair with it. And this was actually the first shampoo that was prescribed to me when I went to see the dermatologist and she gave me a prescription of things. So what she had prescribed to me was salicylic acid, cocois, Capisau shampoo. It was either Dovabet or it was um, Epiderm. I don't really remember. So Epiderm is a cream for my whole body. Dovabet is a gel version of a moisturizer for my whole body as well. But I'll explain more about Dovabet later. So Epiderm is literally just like a white cream. It's 
got no smell to it to be used as a moisturizer. The Capacel shampoo was the shampoo that I was told that I would have to use. It was diprosalicylic, that's, that's what it was. So the diprosalicylic was um, like a clear water consistency scalp application. I would have to rub it onto all of my patches on my scalp after I'd washed my hair with the Capacel shampoo while while my hair was kind of like towel dry consistency. So that's what I would have to put in. And what I was told to do is Cocois is an ointment. Um, these products, I don't have them so I can't show them to you because I, I no longer use them. Um, but the Cocois came in a really big tube. It was kind of like a toothpaste tube. And it used to have like, you used to take the lid off and they would give you an extra like longer nozzle to go with it and you would put that on and you would apply it onto the psoriasis patches in your scalp and it would massage in like oil it was like it looked like a brownie consistency but it wasn't as brown as the Capacel shampoo it is so like you could barely tell that it was brown it was more white than it was brown um it smelt like coconut oil, so I'm pretty sure there was coconut oil in there, um, as the name would suggest as well, cocois. It would literally make your hair go quite greasy. So what I would have to do is, um, my mum would put the cocois in, because obviously I can't see the patches at the back of my head. So my mum would part my hair, find the patches, put the cocois on, and I would wrap my hair in cling film and um, put a towel on my pillow and go to sleep and I'd leave that in overnight and that was my treatment method um, for the cockoys. Next morning, wake up, wash it out with the Capistel, get my hair to a towel dry kind of dryness and then I'd go in with the diprosalicylic acid um, and that was basically a routine that I had to follow. Back then they used to tell me to do this like every other day or so. I noticed my hair was drying out when I was doing it every other day so we used to try and do it like once or twice a week it did help with my scalp psoriasis a lot of my patches went smaller but it didn't get rid of it and it did not calm it down to how my skin is now it was good though so we did carry on using it for quite a while it then got to a point where the cockroach wasn't really doing much so I stopped putting the cockroach in my hair then I gradually stopped doing the diprosalicylic acid in my hair and then I just stopped with the Capacel and I went back to my GP and I was like these things they don't really seem to be working as well as they used to so he prescribed me um, Neutrogena's tea gel shampoo and that had the same colour and same consistency as the Capacel but obviously it was made by Neutrogena. That seemed to work just as well as the Capsaw did in the beginning. So I kind of stuck to that for quite a while. And then here and there, I'd, I'd put like cockroach in my hair, maybe like once a week or like every few weeks or so. So I wasn't as consistent with it in my scalp. My scalp did start calming down. And what actually got rid of my scalp psoriasis completely was aloe vera. My husband's colleague, um, he's a very good friend of ours, and we went to see them one evening for dinner, and Carly and, and um, Mohinda, they have these huge aloe vera plants at home. So um, Carly and really kindly cut off really big leaves for us, and I brought them home. I basically I scooped out the insides, the actual jelly part of the al aloe vera and put a little bit of water in there. I put um, Evian bottled water in there and just chucked it in the blender and just kind of blended it all together. So it went to like a jelly-like consistency. I then added yogurt and honey to that in a bowl. Um, well, like I took a little bit in a bowl and added yogurt and honey to that and I made a hair mask out of it and I kid you not, I did this like once and my scalp psoriasis was literally nowhere to be seen. To kind of continue that calming down thing, um, I used the just the aloe vera and water mixture 
all over my body and I, I did it all in my scalp again and I did this like a good three four times and it really seriously got rid of everything that was in my scalp like you could not find a single patch and it stayed that way so after doing this three four times I had no more psoriasis on my scalp like it was gone that was it bye bye the only thing that did bring it back was when we got closer to the wedding day I decided that I wanted to dye my hair the same colour that it was when me and my husband first started dating that colour is no longer sold so I was kind of stuck I had to pick something that was really similar we dyed my hair that aggravated my skin and it brought the psoriasis patches back in my scalp these days in my hair i don't actually use anything medicated this capacel i don't use it anymore sorry to say at the moment in my hair i only use three products and they have nothing to do with psoriasis but having said that they haven't aggravated my psoriasis either so i kind of feel like it's a win-win for me because my psoriasis isn't getting any worse. I know it's not getting any better either, but it's not getting any worse. In the past, I have tried Head and & Shoulders and Pantene and they have aggravated my psoriasis like there's no tomorrow. And that is what caused the spread of my psoriasis. The Pantene and the Head & Shoulders. I hate those, I really hate those. I know that there are some people out there in like, Facebook psoriasis groups who have tried head and shoulders and it has helped them out. I personally don't know if they have psoriasis in their scalp. It could be eczema that they're treating because head and shoulders is basically for dandruff and dandruff is eczema when you look into it. If you do have psoriasis and head and shoulders is working for you then honest to god I'm happy for you. But for me personally no, cause major flare ups, really bad. This shampoo is a shampoo that you can get, I want to say anywhere, I know you can get it on Amazon, I don't know if it's the real deal or not on, a, on Amazon, but um, I bought this from Sally's Beauty and this was actually recommended to me by a very, very, very good friend of ours and she's also a professional hairdresser, she's the only person that touches my hair, so this was recommended to us by Vic. Vic, if you're watching this, hi! And Carly and Mahinda, hi! <laughs> Vic recommended that I try these just for the dryness of like my hair because like I showed you guys like the ends of my hair are just basically they've been dying I mean this doesn't do it any justice because I've had it like twisted up in a bun and stuff so it's it looks drier I will show you guys once I've actually washed my hair what it looks like because it looks much better than this. Vic recommended that, that I go out and I get my hands on Bedhead Urban Antidote Resurrection Damage Level 3 Shampoo and Conditioner. These smell like sweets. Oh my god, I love it. I get out of the shower after I've washed my hair and my husband is just sitting there like smelling my hair. This stuff smells amazing. But it's also given back the softness that I used to have in my hair that had actually gone because of me dyeing my hair so much. I've been blonde, I've been light brown, I've been bright red, like proper bright red. I've been purple. I have not been blue and I have not been green. Although, you never know. I might go purple and blue and green all in one go, I don't know. I hate the colour pink, so definitely the colour pink will not be in my hair ever. These two are like... I swear by these so much. So shampoo and conditioner. And the other thing that I use when I come out of the shower is this Revlon Professional Unique one. It's got 10 real benefits in one little bottle. So it's a good repair for dry and damaged hair. Same as those two. Gives you shine and it's got frizz control. It's a heat protectant. It gives you the silkiness and the smoothness back. Exactly like that shampoo and that conditioner. It protects your hair color from UVA and UVB filters. 
it makes your hair a lot easier to kind of like brush the knots out of that i can definitely speak to obviously because of the heat protecting you can dry your hair curl your hair straighten your hair whatever you want to do with it it says incredible detangling again easier brushing incredible detangling i think those go hand in hand long lasting hairstyle split ends prevention and adds body i can't really speak to the split ends prevention because my hair is dying in general so it needs a trim anyway so i can't speak to that but i what i can tell you is this again has not caused any flare-ups or anything like that yes it's not gotten rid of my psoriasis but it's also not made it worse also it smells like sweets so those are the three things that i use i wash my hair with a shampoo then i condition it come out of the shower wait till my hair's towel dry spray this in and brush it out and that is it i leave this in because that's what you're supposed to do it's a leave-in hair treatment that's all i do with my hair don't do anything else i know my psoriasis is kind of like in a weird transition phase kind of right now i know i said in my other video it has calmed down a lot i think we figured out what had calmed it down for my birthday my husband took us away to colchester and um, we took with us these Epsom bath salts that he had bought from Amazon. The things that you can buy, by the way, um, I will link them in the description box. So that's where you can find them. We had like a huge jacuzzi there and we put a kilo of it in the jacuzzi and we would be in the jacuzzi every day. And we were there for three, four days. So that I'm guessing is what's cleared my skin up because when we got back from Colchester, I like, my skin was like this. Now you can see kind of like the outline of where the patch used to be on both of my arms. And yeah, I know certain little bits haven't fully gone, but it did calm it down completely. And I'm kind of convinced that it was this because um, I've got a lot of psoriasis on my back as well. And that has calmed down in comparison to what it was like before. Um, if I can, I would definitely try it and put pictures in of how bad my psoriasis was. Bearing in mind, I have undergone light therapy in the past. The first time I went for light therapy, it worked quite well. It did shrink a lot of my um, patches. But then what I found is as soon as the light therapy sessions had stopped, because you only get a certain amount of sessions, I think it's 24 sessions. And after your 24th session, the nurse who is looking after you, she will assess your skin and at her discretion, add in another four sessions or maybe less. For me, the first time around, it was great. Everything shrunk down and then I ran out of sessions. So the light therapy stopped and everything grew and this time it grew with a vengeance so when i started light therapy the patch was only that big it shrank down to be that big and then it decided to go that big so it was bad for me in terms of that um, there are people out there that claim light therapy is amazing for them for those of you who are like me and it hasn't been amazing for you because the second time around i went the light therapy had no effect like my skin was just like bruh no what i have found though when i'm on holiday and i spend a lot of time in seawater and it's nice and sunny that's it my skin is calm like there's no tomorrow everything is gone come back to the weather here because england's quite cold and dry my skin's just trash like always flaring up so the fact that my birthday is in october and we are now christmas eve and my skin is still calm and it started calming down in October. Like, this is amazing for me. There are still obviously loads of patches that didn't fully calm down. I mean, if I showed you guys my legs, there's a patch that's like literally that big on my leg. And like the main inner part of it has calmed down, but the outline of it is still there. And it's the same thing on this leg, the patch is like that big. So yeah, I mean, they're huge. And then I've got like little patches like near my knee and stuff. 
but I know there's obviously patches that are still there and that, ha that haven't completely gone. I am planning on using the aloe vera again to calm everything down um, on the patches that are still there and I'm hoping that that clears it up. But that's my current treatment for my skin. Thank you.